Hello, welcome back to Starbound Haunted Station. Last time we built a skyscraper that was all snowed in, and we didn't quite resolve the whole snow thing on the right-hand side, which we might actually do a bit of as well. And in this episode, we're going to build a... Well, what we're going to do is, we're going to, underneath the skyscraper, we're going to finally deal with all this nonsense. We're going to make a sector that's been compromised by a great big asteroid that's going to have tonked the station. I did dabble in the whole asteroid thing way back in episode one. However, since then, um, I've discovered a mod that allows you to turn off tile protection and also allow you to build outside of space stations. Uh, there's an admin command that can cope with some of that, but this mod kind of covers all of it. And it does mean that whenever you build a station, you can now um, build... You can now s oh, hang on, I've, got it, I've actually got it turned on on this station, so we'll actually have to go and do that back at the start of the station. So let me just teleport over. Right, so this mod, um, basically by default, it actually turns tile protection off. And that's tile protected. And you go to here, disenable it. Now it does mean that you can now take out the walls if you so desire. Also means you can build outside of the station, which you can't normally do uh, these days. Let's get rid of that. So that does mean we can actually um, kind of penetrate the space station with a giant asteroid, uh, which will be a lot of fun. Uh, first, we need to do a quick bit of asteroid gathering. Uh, don't worry, we won't spend much time on this at all. Uh huh. Go here. Anywhere will do. Got this slow, trundly old ship. And we've arrived in some asteroids. Uh, deploy mech. Uh, why not? Actually, maybe. That much. I can't remember what weapons I've got. Um, I've just been making a video on mech mods. So, oh my god. Right. Oh. Right, carefully does it. No. I've got my Tesla thing. I've also got, yeah, I've actually got my beam out for the lads. Uh, that makes things a lot easier to actually do the mining for. Good. Okay, so I'll just gather some of this and then we shall continue. Hey. I'm genuinely regretting keeping this bloody grey outfit on. This is my usual one. Ugh, never mind. Let's go back to the skyscraper. And um, thankfully I set up a teleporter last time, which means we can go straight back. There we go. So, we now are able to penetrate the outer walls, but first we need to do a bit of a dig down. Uh, also, I d really do want to improve this at some point. Ugh. So, I don't know where to actually do this then. Where should we do it? Uh, I think maybe I could have done it directly down from here. Um, but I don't think... Mm, maybe. I mean, it kind of like makes sense for you to go down here, doesn't it? I mean, we don't need two of these things. These large metal tanks. So let's actually put a door in just here. And then just, yeah, go down through. This is going to be just like a regular boring-ass corridor, so I can just take out... I didn't, Obviously, I didn't really put a huge amount of um, dirt here, because you're not supposed... We weren't actually supposed to see anywhere down here. Um, but yeah, whatever. And so that's concrete, but we don't need to necessarily stick with concrete. Oh, I don't know. Feels like a concrete bunker to start with, but then it's going to be like a proper section of a s of the space station. Just it's all going to be flipped up. I said, try not to swear. And it's going to be all mucked up. It's going to be like um, dis half destroyed. Everything's going to be a bit kind of tatty and full of lava and water and all sorts of stuff like that. And I'm not quite sure how that's all going to work, but the main thing is, first of all, we actually need to make the sector, and then we need to compromise it. I'll probably do what I did with the skyscraper, and that's make a reasonably sort of oh god damn it. Um, I'll make it like a look reasonable to start with, and then we shall actually start pounding it with our big stick. Uh, whatever that means. So my first idea about compromising this is to actually um, change it from the regular stuff, which is hull panel, into scrap panel. So make it... Uh, it's, it doesn't really, mm, doesn't really join brilliantly, does it? That uh, goes down like that. Oh yeah, that's, that's okay. So, I just, well, maybe we should use the rusty stuff. Have I only got any rusty stuff? No, I haven't. There's also, the, there's, there's rusty panel, and the, there's, there's hull panel, there's rusty panel, and there's scrap panel. Ah, eh, we'll just stick to scrap panel. Just to make it give it a bit more of a scuzzy vibe. So it looks like this, this place has really gone to the dogs. Um, but it does mean this is going to take quite a while. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not going to take out the background, um, I'm, like, on mass and then replace it. Not like other other builds, because we, we simply don't need to, because it's supposed to be like a proper section of space station, rather than like a completely new thing like most of the other things. Oh god, those those will despawn after a while, at least. And so it's not going to look stupid forever. Although, having, having said that, I think I'll try and make it a bit scuzzy, actually. I won't, I won't stick to like making it completely uh, uh, diagonal and correct. It needs to be a bit broken up. Uh, but this is going to take a while, isn't it? 
I found a potential um, downside, a flaw, um, with the mod. Or possibly it's the mod. Um, you can actually build outside the space station, like here, which is outside of our existing area. But not here. You can't do it outside the di this diagonal bit here. So there's, I can't build. I was, I was hoping to put like do a great big asteroid here, but I can't do it. I can't do it outside here. Just um, I can get do it a little bit, and then but not any further. I actually don't want that. So I don't know. It's what I'm thinking of doing instead is just simply having the asteroid coming in from the bottom instead, where we can we actually know it's working. I have to take this door away. Can I do that? Ah, oh, no, I can't actually get rid of this door, which is a minor problem as well. Um, I don't know, maybe we can integrate the door inside the asteroid somehow. Uh, let's let's start putting in some asteroid. It can go up to about there, and then it kind of like goes a bit... Yes, it can go there, but it can't go there. It just seems to be an invisible line here, where anything above that doesn't work. Oh, things are despawning down there, which is nice to see. So there will be quite a lot of asteroid required down here. Um, we really don't want that door there, to be honest. Uh, never mind. And what we'll do is we'll get rid of some of this. I was, I'm just, I was originally going to do this, um, like a, make it pristine and then break it. But I think we'll, we'll kind of like do it broken to start with. We'll, we'll, we'll see where it goes anyway. Um, I'm just going to go down here. So there's gravity here. Um, I think um, I think the way it works is once you've actually put some tile in there and take it away again, gravity appears. But if I went outside the area that I haven't really done things, I'd I'd lose all gravity and float off into space, which we don't really want. It's not ideal, anyway. So the asteroid will kind of like go round here, go down here. Oh God! I'm, yeah, this is this is what I mean. <laughs> right, quick, 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 and down, sort of. Here-ish. Ah, 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 ah. God damn it. Well, the, 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 this asteroid isn't going to be quite as round as I hoped. In fact, let's just put in some background. There we go. It's a bit of a waste of the material, but never mind. It'll save us fannying. I shall use some meteorite rock. So I, I was hoping to make it a bit more rounded than this. I think it... Hmm. I don't know. It's, a, it's an asteroid. It can be any old, any old shape, I think. Whoa, careful. Right there. Just fill this in. Make it a bit rounded like that. Also, maybe in like that. Although that's that's a bit peculiar, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll cope. Oh God, damn it! <laughs> uh, we're actually going to need more asteroid, I think, at this rate. Yeah, we've only got 29 left. So strange. <laughs> I was going to say a funny story, but it isn't. It's just um, the doors. Uh, at some point, I wasn't really paying attention. But at some point, the door appeared to have mined out the door somehow. I honestly don't know how. I think it's maybe when I put some asteroid next to it or something. I don't know. But apparently it is possible to get rid of it. Maybe I was just doing being a bit rubbish first time around. Um, who knows? Anyway, it is possible, which is a good thing to see. So I can actually take out this existing stuff as well. Let's get rid of that. We will need some lighting on this situation, I think. I don't mind it having a little bit of like interaction with this stuff. I mean, it's it's good that this stuff was there originally, maybe in the in the idea behind all this, or the uh, whatever nonsense I'm what nonsense law I'm trying to add to this. And then the actual asteroid itself, I guess, can come in like this. So it's just nicely compromising our station. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Well, let's try and get some light down. Just some do normal torches. Or oh, a friendly high lottle sign. That's probably not ideal. Colour lights there and there. And we can fill this up a bit more like this. This is kind of like, I feel like it needs a bit more taken out. Let's get rid of that. Like that. I don't think it can go any further out. Oh, yeah, it can. A little bit. Ah. Um, hmm. I can't... Oh, I can't... I, I can't put any um, stuff there. That's, that's annoying. It's not letting me. Then. There. So, there we are, penetrated, quite remarkably, by the horrible old asteroid. Um, might make it a little more, a little more rounded, because it feels like it should be really shoving its way in, like an uninvited rocky guest. Or something. <laughs> there. There. Uh, nasty old thing. Nasty rock of death. 
Um, only made possible by this bloody mod. Ah. Right, so there's going to be a lot of... We don't, we don't, we're not going to really need much dirt, are we? Because uh, there's, I think, um, logically the dirt could be, is okay there, but anything below that, it stops making sense because this is going to be a proper bit of space station. Right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually put in a little bit of a, oh, I really should have rusted rail for this. Never mind. I'm going to put in a little bit of an elevator. Like that. I don't think I've actually got the right bits here, to be honest. Probably not. Yeah, I'll come back to that. I'll have to give you some crafting in a bit, I think. Open. <laughs> Let's just... Oh my god, that's bright. Actually, we'll keep that. We'll keep that for a part of this. Now, this is... I'm going to take the torches out later and replace it with some, like, low... Low lighting. Maybe some more flickering lighting. Uh, so, let's see the... Um, this is going to be like a... If we have it like a... Oh, yeah, let's have a let's have another elevator going down the middle. Break, uh, but it'll actually hit the asteroid, of course. But this is going to be like a multi-level facility of some description. So, first of all, we just need to actually put in the levels. Like that. And this will need... The space station will need to, like, meet the ground like it does on the other side. So, let's just put that there. Oh, it also needs to go up here, doesn't it? We Yeah, I forgot about this bit. Yeah, we need a, we need a little thing that goes up in the air here. Yes, I guess. I think I'll probably just... I won't bother with the elevator here, because it doesn't really resolve very well. I wonder if I've got any good... Oh, lunar base platform. That'll do. Like that. And then up to there. And then that can be something maybe for the future. Although, let's have... Let's have some proper background in there. Um, What should we use? Uh, ice block. No, that's not ice block. I was looking for silver. Light metal, that'll do. In fact, that is actually official space station background, so that makes a lot of sense. The door's glowing, so that can provides a little bit of light. Probably don't need to have that, all that stuff in like that. It's really actually difficult to get up here. Let's um, just take away that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. In fact, let's have this going across there. And then, this also needs to be... Oh, this is all just a dirty gunk, isn't it? Dirty gunk. Um, as well, just um, out of sight, out of mind it. Across there. Oh yeah, this all gets all very dirty now. Across there. And like that. I should really be using the scuzzy stuff, but I think because this is above ground, um, I don't mind so much. In fact, let's get rid of all, all this whilst we're doing it. Get rid of that. So I can just, oh, come on. It'll turn to scuzzy here, I think. So we are, we are maintaining the theme. I need another torch up here, I can't see a thing. There we go. So we just need to make it scuzzy across here. Get to take out the rest of this dirt. Right, ooh, scuzzy here as well. And then kind of goes down like that. There, now we've roped off our own little section. Um, so we can... Uh, mm, we also need to... Make it a couple of levels here. Well, oh, don't need it that thick. And the... Oh God, careful, careful. We will need to take out a reasonable amount of this background, actually, just to... Um, okay. Yes, I guess we do that. Just to make it so it's completely compromised as well. So, I think a lot of this stuff down here will have to be this way inclined, after all. I wasn't going to do a lot of this stuff, but... I think it... Yeah, it will look better this way, I think. Get rid of some of that. Some of that. Oh, I'm taking away some of the stuff that I put in myself. Not ideal. For once, um, the, the scuzzy background that you actually unveil actually probably is to our advantage, because it actually looks quite... Oh, look at all that gunk. It actually looks like things are all going a bit askew. In fact, we probably could do with breaking apart some of this stuff. And we could, if we just do it like this, so it looks like bits are dangling off. Things are like, it's, it's warped and broken and all that sort of stuff. And we'll probably do a bit more of this. I'm not doing it too kind of accurately. I'm deliberately like leaving it a little bit kind of um, rough and ready. Uh, it's probably could do with a bit more incursion as we go along as well. I'm not quite sure this is enough, but is that... Hmm. That's already looking a bit good. We, we, we need things like lava and stuff like that. So once that's in, it'll look really kind of 
I'm not quite sure where we're going to put the lava. Probably like a little pool of lava down here or something. Not quite sure why there's lava. And possibly things have been penetrated. Like a heating system, maybe. I mean, there's one. We could have another one of these. Yeah, let's say that was full of lava for some reason, and then it's broken and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've thought this through. Okay, I've been experimenting. I've, been, I've added a new mod to the game. Um, yeah, another one. This is um, uh, the water source mod, I think it's called. Uh, and I'm a bit wary about using it because I don't really want to have mod modded things in my in my space station in case I take out mods later. But this um, this mod does add things like a lava source. Delicious lava source. Uh, so let's bung in. Let's bung this in. There it is. I've already made one already as an experiment. Where's my little lever? There it is. So if you wire it up, not like that. Uh, turn it on. You get a source of lava. Uh, it'll run out the the background, so it won't actually happen forever. But it does mean that we can have our own little sort of um, deadly thing going on. We don't really want it there, admittedly. That's probably a, a silly place to put it. But uh, <laughs> I forgot there it is again. Let's put that in the in the hot bar up here. So maybe I mean, are we, can we put it in behind? Unfortunately, we can't put it behind that thing. We, we, otherwise, we'd have had a nice effect where it looks like it's spewing out lava. Um. I suppose we could just do it like that. Oh, we still need to wire it up again. So, it sort of works thematically. It looks like it's been compromised um, to some extent. I think this little broken bit of rail is quite... Well, it's something. I still need to put in some bumper stops. I don't have a... I don't think I've actually got my rail craft... Oh, yes, I have. Right there. So I can... Yeah, I'll sort that out later. Now I've got to work out what to do with the rest of it. So this is probably not what I want. I probably want to have... I don't know, though. This 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 whole sort of... Um, we need to, we still need to make this a bit more kind of... um Proper. We probably don't need um, it all the way up. We probably need to make this into proper rooms and things as well. So let's start doing that sort of thing. All rusty and broken, of course. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Um... <laughs> We will make this into its own room up here. Yeah. I can't really extend this outward, so I'll have to stay like that, I'm afraid. Unless, maybe I put in a staircase. That rusty one. There. <laughs> that makes it a little easier to work with. And I think I will put in a... Oh, that's completely the wrong thing. I think I will put in a layer of rusty station just here. Oh, God. I'm sorry to not be able to see, am I? Oh, there's all that empty space up there, which I don't really want. Uh, well, okay, let's... Oh, God, it's going to take a while. Um, let's get rid of this. I'm going to put dirt in there again. It's going to take... Just get rid of that stuff. And... Yep, 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 yep. Oh god, this is... Yep, 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 yep. That's a more copper platform. Yeah, it's okay, because it, it, it can look a bit broken. It's allowed to, because the, that's the whole theme of the thing, isn't it? Uh, we'll make these make these walls a bit thicker. Now, this can be all one room. In fact, I think I'm... Just for for reasons... Let's put in a bit of scuzziness and like that. Make this all into one sort of room. Um... What should we do with this little area? Just gonna block it off a little bit. So I'm severely lacking furniture and stuff, but I think we can actually have this sort of lighting in the in the top bit. I think that kind of vaguely thematic works. I think the, the further again, like like with the skyscraper, the further you go into it, the worse the actual stuff is. The more broken and rubbish it actually is. Uh -huh. So I can get rid of the torches like that. So we've actually got some more thematic lighting going on. We probably could do with also having... Yeah, there, down the lift shaft. Or <laughs> the approximation of one, anyway. Okay, just a couple of tweaks. I've made the rail rusty. Uh, I've decided not to put anything on there, because there's no real way we can do that. I've got a little, uh, 
got a little rail tram going on. Not a huge amount of, well, a huge amount of point in this, although I have, yeah, it does have a bumper up there instead of a thing, but yeah, it's all broken and rubbish. So I've printed out loads of 3D pixely type stuff, so I've got loads of furniture to put in. So again, like I'm a bit in the skyscraper, I'm going to put in some absolutely scuzzy stuff down here where everything's broken. I kind of like want to make a bit of a toilet, inevitably. I'm um, just, again, because we, we need the theme. We need the... Yeah. <laughs> just want to put in your urinal. Uh, no, there's... there's oh, yeah, was that a little... I found a little dripping shower, uh, which is from the, um, I think, the human prison. So maybe... I know what we'll do. We'll make it into a kind of a, a wet room. Sort of. A sort of broken old wet room. So we probably could do with... Hmm, light metal or silver. I'll still go for silver. So just to make it a, a bit... Slightly more classy, sort of. Although even this is going to be like slightly broken and ruined. We did we did take out more of the background so we can put the tiles. Um, but again, this is going to be incur an incursion. There's going to be um, it's not going to be completely good. It's going to be all wrecked and nasty. Uh, maybe I'll stain some of the tiles yellow as well. <laughs> uh, dirty bugger. Right, so let's actually put that into my hot bar there. Uh huh. Yeah, so everything's a little, still a little bit broken. Background tiles, like that. But that's when it starts to get a little... You can start seeing the stuff behind. Although that doesn't well, that doesn't really work that well, but no, never mind. But yeah, that's like that, like that. Then we can actually put in the bloody shower and stuff. Ideally, we'd actually have a... a we could actually make a water source. In fact, we might. Let's do that. Um, so that will be under wiring. So I don't have to worry about things. I think I've put myself in admin mode for the sake of all these mods and everything. Let's go. Let's see what I can do with this. Oh, we need to bloody wire it up, don't we? Oh, we'll make this the, the master lever. Like that. Oh, cool! That's yeah. That, I like, it sort of works because it looks like um yeah. There must be a leak somewhere. Let's put that in there as well. Um, I don't think I've got any other to toilet themed things. Yeah, I kind of like that. I mean, this it's only providing a tiny bit of water. Um, you can't really see it going down into here because I think it's um, only little drips go down there and then it disappears into the background. In fact, no, actually, the back it's disappearing into the background here, isn't it? That's why it's not going any further. That looks quite cool. That, yeah, that looks like it's um, it's supposed to happen <laughs> in some weird way. Uh, what else? I've got loads of other furniture. So it's, again, like the other thing, um, I'm just going to put in some kind of wrecked, broken things. I'm giving that a little torch. The lava is, of course, providing a lot of... Um, um, light. So that's going to be a broken thing. We've got three doors. Well, that, I'm not quite sure why. Hmm. Not sure why the, how that door survived. Let's actually not put a door there. And also, it's wooden. It just doesn't make a huge amount of sense. A standard issue counter. That's too nice. Little bookcase. That's too nice. Oh, God. <laughs> can't put that there. Yeah, <laughs> a chair for some reason. Hanging basket, we definitely don't want that. That's all, the, all this stuff that I got from last time. Let's go to the lava source. You know, architect station. Uh, I don't really want much high lotl. Oh, a broken tank. Ooh, let's have that there. Well, it didn't really do much. Maybe we have a military room. Of, <laughs> whatever the hell a military room is. So I guess some of this stuff will actually it will actually work. Like um, this can be the um, some kind of room that where actual things do actually happen. Oh my god, that's enormous! Oh, I can put that in there. So it looks like there's going to be like a monitoring area here, uh, where things are a bit less crappy and broken. No, that's, <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever. All these bloody things I put originally put in the skyscraper. Uh, uh traditional load. No, that's, again, that's too furniture-ish. Bunker vent. Oh yeah, let's have a let's have a couple of these. Maybe have that there. So that's actually working. A broken waterproof light. Well, that logically should go in there then, shouldn't it? Ha! Huh. It is indeed broken and flickering. Quite nice. Fluorescent light. 
Well, these are these really, really bright ones, so I don't really want to use them. Um, empty weapon rack. No, that makes, like, again, no thematic sense. I'm actually d deleting more stuff than I'm actually using at the moment. Oh, I could have another broken utility box. Um, but... Oh, there's literally nowhere to put this, and there's no flat surfaces. Hmm. Uh, yeah. What about some more of these? Now, these don't really fit in places. I mean, these... Uh, I mean, this is background type stuff. Can I actually put that in the background anywhere else? No, I can't. It has to ha have some background, which makes it a little... not very easy to use. And we could maybe, like, put it along the top here. Actually, that's quite cool. Just as a, a general effect. It doesn't quite symmetrically work. Hang on. Let's do that. I don't mind it incur, incurring or incurking. In, I, I don't mind it doing that. <laughs> uh. Oh god, I'm on top of the box. Okay, um, I'm, I've been printing a lot of stuff and it, it does bother me. I, I found loads of wrecked stuff, which I didn't, hadn't noticed before. I've been using broken stuff, but not wrecked stuff. Uh, and it occurs to me that I could actually make this a whole lot scuzzier. So I've made, printed myself absolutely bucket loads of stuff. That actually might be a bit too large. Nah, we can have it anyway. <laughs> A uh, huge old generator. Oh, that could have been in the bo um, boiler room upstairs. Wrecked computer. So everything's going to be a bit shitty now. Um, boiler? I wonder if I can put that in there. I'm not quite sure why that, that's there now, but yeah, it'll do. So instead of a, an actual proper revolving one... Which one was that? That one. We could actually put in a non-functional version, which I think is a bit more interesting. And what else? What else have we got? Oh, monitors and stuff. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Uh, I think we can just get up there. Like that. Some hanging wires. Nice, dangerous hanging wires there. A few more here. Oh, there's, only, <laughs> there's hardly any in here. I only made two. Wrecked panel. Not quite sure what that's for. Yeah, it looks okay. Another wrecked console. Let's put in another one over here. It's a really nice chair. Okay, hang on. I'm going to bring this chair back because it is a bit awful look. But there's no point in it being there. I could put something else in there. <laughs> a couch. No, let's not do that. So the wrecked chair can go up here. Next. I've got. I've got. Get rid of the, the proper chair. And we put in the wrecked chair. And we don't. We don't need the nice working thing there, do we? Uh, that's, you know, get rid of you. Oh, support beams as well. Yes. Yeah, so why do I only craft one of them? I keep on crafting only one of things. Or buying it, whatever you call it. Yeah, that's one of them. <laughs> Even though it's actually, it's not supposed to be working, but uh, never mind. Okay, just a few little uh, extra random things. Probably just like, as before, uh, I'm just going to scuzz around it and just make it so things are a bit exposed in certain places, everything's just a little um, buggered up. And probably put some of this in the background, which we're fast running out of. Um, it's really irritating how that like adapts even in the background to existing stuff. Because I'm trying to make this look more kind of like the um, the Jura steel has been stripped off to reveal this behind it, but it doesn't really quite work like that because of the, you know, the adaptive nature of the, the material. Um, but yeah, this is just almost done. Okay, I've zoomed out, and um, I've also started stripping out some of the um, the background for the skyscraper. And the the reason why I'm doing this is because it just didn't really look like a skyscraper when there was when there was all this ice and stuff there. So this just makes it a bit more clearer that it is supposed to be like a great big thrusting skyscraper. Um, so I think that looks a bit better. Um, but let's not actually go. You know, I don't really like having to go back and doing redoing previous builds too much. So let's um, not worry about that too much. Put some more rusty rail. And also, some at the bottom as well, I think. Uh huh. Just make it look like it's really scuzzy at the bottom. Also, maybe like, um. Yeah, have it like a slightly twisted and broken there as well, just like to fit in with the other stuff as well. Uh, yep, so let's um, actually go now. I've actually zoomed out. The, actual, uh, the performance when you're actually zoomed out I mean, this area is horrible. Frame rate goes a little wonky. But let's have a look. Uh, there's the, um, the not quite working. <laughs> Thingamabob, smashed up old knackers over here, broken little office, 
a pixel printer. And this horrible flickering bloody telly. Let's keep that switched off, maybe. <laughs> that was getting quite annoying. And there's an ape in a jar for some reason. Uh, there's all that stuff up there, which will maybe go into another thing at some point. Uh, go down to this level. And there's the bog with the boiler and the, the spurty spurties. And there's the, some lava as well. Uh, I think, yeah, enjoy it while you can, because I'm going to probably take out these these things. Um, just because of, well, partially because of performance, but also um, because I don't really want mods um, in the, you know, like permanent mods in there, because I'll want to take them out at some point. Uh, and there's just like the broken area down here with the asteroid of death. So yeah, like, it fits quite nicely in with the existing skyscraper build. Uh, there's probably more stuff you could really do with this, I'd, but yeah, the limitations of the mod means that you might, well, the, um, the, the ones, the, the, that's, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, um, since I can't build in this kind of corner of the 3x3 three three, uh, modular thing, uh, that does like um, put a great big crimp on things. But I think if you started with a different shape sort of a uh, sector, you might actually be able to do this idea in a bit more of a dramatic fashion, with it thrusting more in there. Um, possibly not from the bottom. The bottom might be m less dramatic than if it was coming in from the side. And then you could have bits of asteroids spilling out into the thing as well. Um, but yep, yeah, that's it. So yep, yeah, we'll um, pick this up again in the next episode. Um, so do check out my other Starbound videos. There should be one about mech mods out by now. And go and check that out. It's um, it's cool. I promise. Honestly, it's really good. And then check out all the other stuff that isn't Starbound for once. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.